Where's the poor Cluma Metal Saint hanging out with? One more. How are you guys doing? Uh, awesome. You guys played an awesome set. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> Can I have you guys say your name and say what you do in the band? I'm Woody. I play bass. Cody, I'm drums. Dave, I'm vocals. Jason on guitar. Cool. cool. Have you guys ever been known by any other band name? No. no. Ugh. Since this show is called GPS to the G Spot, how do you find it? They have Inside? food in there? They got a good menu, don't they? We have like ribs and shit on it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> That's the singer of Jiffy and the Blasters, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to Amber! <laughs> Amber Observant! <laughs> all right, all right. It's local metal. <laughs> Apparently, how you find the G spot is you have Jizzy walk right through. <laughs> yeah, she'll blast it out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. How do you guys feel about instrument prices? Do you prefer guitar center, online shopping, or mom and pop shops? Whatever I could find. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, we're everywhere. And everywhere. You gotta make it to one of the big ones every once in a while. You play all the shit you Where'd can. Where'd you get your drum, Sam Ash? Yeah, Sam, Sam Ash is the Sam awesome. Ash. Metronome. That's our local music store that we drive for a half hour to get to. <laughs> it's more local than here. Yeah. <laughs> Not for us. We drove two over over two hours to get here. Like I said, it's more local than here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. What do you guys feel sets Lung Warm apart from other metal bands? Old school and new school. Fucking yeah. right. <laughs> Old school riffs, new school breakdowns. Yeah. It's got to have a groove. It's got that old school play. sound with like new school breakdowns. Grooves. <laughs> if you guys own a mansion, how many stripper poles will be in it? In a mansion? Yep. Every room. Yeah. <laughs> Two in every room. Yeah. Two in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Away from the knives. Come on. Come on. Bye, <laughs> Shout out from Jizzy and the Blasters. Do you guys have any thoughts on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, past, present, or future? Black Sabbath all the way. Oh, yeah. Besides that, who else is in it? <laughs> You know, that's a damn good question. I live in Cleveland and I don't even know. They beat Metallica for a Grammy song. So I'm in it. <laughs> the flute trumps the guitar. Apparently. Do you guys feel mainstream stores should have a section for local music artists? I think Walmart should have a store for local music artists. Yeah. <laughs> even Rite Aid. Throw Gas them in stations. <laughs> every pilot. Gas stations would be a good one. Uh -huh. Hot dog stands. Everything. Truck stops. Music's in everybody's heart regardless, so it should be everywhere. Especially local metal. They're, they're just some lazy bands that don't, don't get CDs made. Yeah. <laughs> so, fun. What are you guys currently working on? <laughs> Recording. Recording. Yeah. New material. Yeah. We're still booked. Almost every Working on new so. shows. Possibly a tour. A tour. <laughs> cool. Even cool. just around Cleveland. Six months every weekend, we're cool. <laughs> tour. Fast cars or motorcycles? Guitars. <laughs> motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, motorcycles. Yeah, motorcycles. Cool. <laughs> There's a cool one they made here. It's Cleveland Cycle. It's called Da Heist. Awesome. We'll take an old school chocolate. And they're cheap too. If your fans could rename a sexual position with one of your song titles, which song title would you think they would choose? <laughs> Dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Good call. That's awesome. Awesome. Good call. Cool. 
Southern style comes in second. Uh, too. <laughs> Yeah, just dump truck. <laughs> When's the last time you got dump truck? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go and find a girl and get dump truck for that. That's good. Can you guys name three ways to help improve the scene and band relationships? <laughs> Bonfires, hall roast, and local shows. All right. Here, here. More local venues. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah we need more venues, more places to play. It's getting limited. Especially for metal. Yeah. That's the main thing, places to play. The underground in Sandusky, that's Sergeant Echo. Yeah, that place was cool. Underground and spot, Peabody. Peabody is so... What is your biggest pet peeve about the music scene, whether it be local or national? Ticket sales. Yep. Yeah. Ticket sales for 200. <laughs> That's the biggest problem. You try to play the mainstream, you got to have $2,400 just to pay for the tickets that you got to sell. Yep. People don't really want to drive two hours because that's... that's ridiculous, right? <laughs> That's so that's something drug. that could be helped by having more <laughs> venues to play at yes. around yourself. Yeah. Right. Most of them aren't big enough for bigger bands. Like, you know, you ain't going to have, totally not the scene, but you ain't going to have Breaking Benjamin come to Marion or be Cyrus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're definitely not going to have Devil Driver like come 16, to so. Mansfield or... No. Akron. Bogle Flex is about the biggest. Yeah. We played with them playing the rock. That was good shit. Yeah. <laughs> good people. Have you guys ever broken a bone or an instrument on stage? I've broken a lot of drums. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sets. <laughs> I break strings like it's my job. Yeah. You ever check out yeah. bring an extra? Wait, it's not your job? <laughs> In the description. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't broken out some strings. What do you guys do before a show? Drink. <laughs> it's on the... I do have a partner in crime. <laughs> Favorite alcohol? Crown. Bush Bush. Heineken. <laughs> Favorite guitar player, Dimebag. <laughs> Boxers, brief surgery, strings. Wow. I'm going That's freestyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Commando. Yeah. Yourself. On myself? Yes. What is more comfortable for you to play in? Uh, He's a drummer. They get it gets chapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chafing is involved. <laughs> Gallons of baby powder. <laughs> Drawers full of spandex because he don't hide it. <laughs> what would you guys do if you woke up naked next to Betty White and she turned over and smiled at you and said, "Ready for round two?" How would I you scream, respond? "Hallelujah!" <laughs> yeah. Put it back where it belongs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Put it back where it belongs. Well, she won't be able to sneak after that. <laughs> Betty White still be cool. <laughs> what would be the soundtrack to your to your personal porno? Weapons of mass distortion. <laughs> a little light, a little heavy. A little long arm. Yeah. And Jizzy and the blasters, because that's appropriate for Woo! Jizzy! <laughs> cool. Oh, cool. He said, oh, shit. She's here. <laughs> As a police drive by. <laughs> Which influences go into the production of your songs? Sabbath, Pantera, and these three fucks. Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, cussing. These three fellow band members <laughs> that I would like to call as Longworm. I need a beer. <laughs> About that. We have several. There's more than just a good team for sure. The music to us is everything from bluegrass to 
any little like you heard uh, it's Taipei is southern side and that's a little little country a little you know, metal it's, it's what we try to do we try to break a little out of all of us and out of all of us. This guy brings in uh, new age, you know, uh, and whatnot. Totally didn't hear that over the Harley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn motorcycles. His influence is wow. <laughs> okay, so you got someone who likes dubstep. Got it. <laughs> no, scratch that. No. Which is it? Literally, scratch yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> How has the music of your parents influenced how you were raised? And influences your taste right now? Tremendously. I don't Not listen to all. any of Yeah, nothing but my, my parents. But our influence is music came from that, though. Yeah. We all bring out the bluegrass and the gospel. True. Yeah. We all grew up in church playing. Yeah, yeah. that's where we're And then mess. where we are now. <laughs> and we meshed it in a lungworm, and we're all going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> His, his grandpa will tell us he's a preacher. Yeah. And he's Baptist, so we're definitely going to help. Who would you guys love to open for and know not your legs? Mega Death. Uh, that's a hard decision. I mean, I think, uh, right now, I'd like to. Really, you guys still thinking? <laughs> Dio's dead, so. It's yeah, like, yeah, there's that limit stuff. Dimes is gone. Well, there's Mega Death. Hanneman's gone, so we still yeah. got Mega Death. We, we've opened up for quite a few already. Mastodon. It, every band seems to be pretty fun. So. Chimera was awesome. Chimera was yeah. awesome. Yeah. If you could have any big band do a cover of one of your songs, who would you love to have do it? Motorhead. And what song? Motorhead. Do Dump Truck. Dump Truck. <laughs> could you hear Loomis? Saying Dump Slut. <laughs> How do you guys personally like to enjoy music? Do you download or still rack out the CDs or cassettes or drinking. vinyls or uh, <laughs> while drinking? A little bit both. Yeah, still no. buy some CDs, still download some. So. While drinking, I'm, I'm drinking. waiting, like anticipating a CD. For sure. Good CD, you yeah. gotta have the CD. If it's just a song or two, you gotta have that song or two. Mm -hmm. so that's what you get off the internet. It's a local the band that you have, like, Bless yeah. the Child has a CD you can buy at Best Buy. I'm gonna get that. Just because it's Blessed Child, you're yeah. awesome. There's a shout-out to Blessed Child. Woo! You're cool. <laughs> you guys have been saying drinking a lot, so I have to ask, what is the weirdest place you've ever woken up? Yeah, it's weird. My mom owns an old school, uh, old Eaton High School, and I woke up in the basement still up there before. Do you have any idea how you even got there? My brother put me there from what I heard. There was a bed, I woke up in a, in a school classroom, not a bed, and I knew where I was at, of course, but it's definitely weird waking up there. Where'd you wake up? In the yard. I've done the yard a couple times. I think mine's Amber's house. Amber's house. Amber's house. For real, Amber's house was the weirdest place I ever woke up because I had no clue where I was at. <laughs> Chris is. <laughs> yeah. We it all night at Belcher's and then woke up with mustaches. I love him. <laughs> that's not cussing, that's PG-13. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Do you, have, do you guys have any courses for support Cleveland Metal Team? When can we play in Cleveland again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> up to you guys. Up to we'll you. We'll stay guys. all night. <laughs> we'll play again. We don't work on Sundays. So. <laughs> Definitely like playing here. We've had some. This is the first time, and it was a good time. Yeah. yeah. There's. You guys handle a very obsessive stalker. I punched him in the face. <laughs> Stalker or groupie? I give him a t-shirt, tell him to leave us, leave us alone. Yeah, Here's a t-shirt. Well, two Go weekends away. ago we played at Belcher's. Yeah, I had to give really, a girl off my shirt off my yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> and she wore it and it was full of slimy. It's 
Definitely adorning And it was after right we now. played that she won the shirt. Yes, and she wore it right after that. And it was a hundred in hell in there, so, oh, I mean, yeah. it was really warm where we played it. Um, I'm going to need an illustration of that one. What's the numerical representation of hell? You said it's a hundred in hell in there. Belcher stage? Slightly, slightly <laughs> less than in there. Yeah, yeah slightly <laughs> less than in there. Because that was way more intense than Belcher. Oh, my God. I've done change clothes and they're still wet. Yeah, I, I'm so good. I'm just a guitar player, so I, I, I pity this guy. I hope we brought baby cop. No. <laughs> Poor unfortunate soul. Last question. How have your families been supportive in your band? Tremendous. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, yeah, I lost mom, my license yeah. and my mom. We got a babysitter. Crazy. My mom ba babysits my house. daughter every yeah. every show. So a <laughs> uh, WTF whatever we want to do is at Woody's house. <laughs> and my mom buys tickets to every show. And she don't show, but at least she buys the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and we all have to autograph. Nice. Yeah, we're our families have been one of the best supporters of everything we've done. Yeah. That's fantastic to hear. Our families, and, uh, my wife is just right Hey, is someone the watching the merch table? That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the going. interview. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys sure you don't have any questions for us? Well, any more questions? Questions, comments, Just can we, when can we play in Cleveland? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Send us your schedule. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. We are support Cleveland Metal. Say hey with Lungworm. Check them out. They fucking rock. Thank you. Thank you. Boop.